Kia ora everybody, welcome back to Theology, where we drink tea and talk theology. It is the seventh day of Advent and we are continuing our Advent series where we are drinking tea from the Advent calendar and discussing a Christmas carol. Now today's Christmas carol was kind of already chosen um, for us, partially due to it being a special request. I don't know why this Christmas carol was a special request. It is or Christmas song, I'm not even going to give it, call it a carol, um, it's Christmas song with a special request. It is one of my least favourites. Um, you might be going, oh is it maybe it's cold outside? No, it's worse. It's so much worse. Um, it's I Saw Mummy Kissing Santa Claus. And if you can't tell, I kind of already hate it. We will start by discussing the tea. So the tea for today is Sweetest Dream. So this tea is like meant to be a tea you drink before bed, like a nighttime tea, but it's nine o'clock in the morning, so we don't really follow their rules. But it says, sweet dreams are made of this. Chamomile, apple, silver lime flowers, and lavender create a beautiful aroma and a pretty brew that's bursting with sweet floral notes. And it has an it. Chamomile, silver lime flowers, apple, rose petals, sweet blackberry leaves, chicory root, citric acid, lavender, rosemary, cornflower petals, and little artificial flavouring and stuff. And the little quote on the front is, when you're not sure what to do, start by making a cup of tea. Also, like to clarify, this is a herbal to say, as there is no tea in here. But you could sort of shorten to say to tea if you wanted to. So this one has lots of like little fluffy bits in it, um, and most of that comes from like the chamomile and that sort of thing, because that's kind of how chamomile rolls. Oh, that's nice. It's quite light. It might just be having my brood at four, but it's quite light and definitely quite floral. Um, it tastes like a lot of teas that people call nighttime teas that have like chamomile and stuff in them. Uh, chamomile can be quite a strong flavour in teas, particularly when it makes up the majority of it. Let's get on to talking about the Christmas song. I saw mummy kissing Santa Claus. This song started off by giving it for theology a zero. It's not there at all. Gave it a zero for biblical story. Um, it's it's not there. There's no. It's not really talking about the biblical story at all. It's talking about Santa Claus. Um, we then also gave it a zero for the pastoral ministry category because it's not there and you could like i i couldn't worship to this song the conversations that would come from this song i don't know it's all just a bit weird and icky and i'm not about it for musicality i gave it a two because it's stuck in my head i don't want it to be stuck in my head though i don't like it but it is so that gives it some points but it doesn't get a lot there and then for the bonus point it gets negative 1000 i hate it it is focused on santa and christmas it's focused on all of the parts of christmas that are not that great in my opinion like the way it's been commercialized the santa claus the weird like i don't know it being cold and winter all of that stuff that i'm not really about so yeah i really i don't like this song and the song it's just out here making me uncomfortable you know like i listen to it and i'm like this is so wrong like you could argue that it's like meant to be a dad underneath the santa suit but why is the dad wearing a santa suit when the kids are in bed. I don't I don't want to know. There is an implication that I don't like. Uh, the kids being witness to. Even though they're meant to be in bed. It's Christmas Eve, why it's sand suit. I, I, I don't. I don't really get it. Um, also, like there is now an implication of the kid thinks mum's cheating on dad. 
with Santa Claus. Like, that's a whole nother thing that the kid's gonna have to unpack. I don't, I don't like that either for the kid. Like, this all just sounds really bad time for the little child involved. And she's like, tickling him under his beard. Like, it's all very weird. I don't know. So that's all a bit weird, I don't really like it, it's just out here making me uncomfortable. I also really hate the commercialization aspect of Christmas and Santa is very much a representative of that. So any song where the predominant focus on it is Santa and kind of talking about how weird that concept of Santa is, which it kind of does, is not going to score highly here. And those are my thoughts. Overall, it gets negative 998 out of 20. Thank you. I will see you all tomorrow with another Christmas carol. Bye!